I'm on my way to Seoul. My goodness, um, I've packed my bags. Can I just tell you that this one here, this giant bag, I've got a little carry-on. But this bag is just full of the warm clothes that I'll have to put on when I get there. A giant ski jacket and ski boots because this is how cold it currently is in Seoul. This is the coldest weather I've ever been in. I think before this, I'm only talking Celsius being an Australian. I think before this, uh, the coldest I'd been in was like negative eight and that was in Boston for PAX. And basically you could only, you only had about 25 seconds um, of having your phone out before your hand froze. This is gonna be double that cold. <laughs> Can't wait. Anyway, I'm going to be vlogging this whole thing. So welcome to Maud's Vlog World. It's so nice outside today. So I'm trying to take in all the warmth that I can before I get into the coldest weather I've ever experienced in my life. I promise I won't complain too much about it. I'm kind of bummed that I'm only in Seoul for two nights. I would be awesome to see, but it happened so fast that I didn't actually get time to go, wait a second, let me try to expand on this trip. So I'm coming to you from the lounge, which is super cute. It's big. Um, a little zen garden. A lot of announcements happening. Uh, my, my flight's boarding in about 35 minutes, so I was like, cool, let's check out the lounge, what's happening here? A lot of food, uh, a lot of bars. There's a, a drinking bar, sports bar, breakfast bar, all of it. I decided to have a little bit of brekkie and a cup of tea, but I noticed it's like, what a cop out, I should be drinking, even though it's 10 to 10 in the morning, because there's all this alcohol, and everyone else is doing it. Everyone else is, um, Hitting the bar pretty hard. Red wine, mimosas, beer. Some guy was having a beer and a, a whiskey shot glass with ice in it. Definitely beer. There. Everyone's, everyone's getting in on it. This is what happens at the lounge. I didn't even know. There's this guy in the background. He's like freaking out because he took a photo of the Zen Garden and realized I was recording. I've been up since 3 a.m. Jet lag's kicked in, so I didn't fight it. I just woke up at 3 a.m. Um, and I did a powered power playing Fallout Shelter on mobile. Uh, really helped me through the flight as well. I'm running three consecutive volts, um, literally to kill time. Um, watching. The clock a lot all clocks what time is it back home what time is it currently here all that fun stuff reading uh i think at about 4 30 a.m i decided to start listening to interview with the vampire interview with the vampire uh the book that we are doing for alpha book club um, i actually really like narrator and that's quite nice i uh, woke up and realized that the toothpaste had vomited violently all through my toiletries bag so i've been cleaning that out <laughs> And uh, that I, the deodorant that I brought is literally done. No more. So I'm going to go out in the cold to a 7-Eleven or a, or a pharmacy. And I'm going to try and buy some deodorant. This is what it currently looks like outside. That's all frosted because it's so cold. The sun's not up yet and it's nearly 7 o'clock. A lot of lights down here. I'm going to explore the fog. Pretty sure people die this way in movies, right? It is bloody cold. <laughs> it's um like 7.30 in the morning-ish. Oh my God, my eyes are watering. Also, I noticed this from my hotel room last night. What the hell is going on here? Could that be a Christmas tree? It's uh, definitely February. <sighs> um, so I'm going full snow bunny because I'm on a mission. I don't have long to get it. Oh, I've just stopped. I've just stopped being able to put my arm up. Check it out. I got snow boots on. Oh, even doing that was 
cold. Everyone, everyone is dealing with this better than I am, which uh, is no surprise to anyone. I have no idea what I just bought. I went to the store. This is a spray, women's spray, uh, romantic rose. Um, but I, I don't think it's deodorant because why is there an iron mark on it? Anyway, I bought buy one get one free. I cannot understand a word of what's on the back. I think it's ironing spray. I think I've bought. I think I've bought ironing spray. Bugger! And I've run out of time. But damn it! Ironing spray for my armpits. Bugger! So I'm back from my reconnaissance mission, and I didn't pass. I spoke to the concierge desk downstairs. What I'd bought. It's not deodorant. You know what? It's like a seven out of ten. It's not. It's not close. It's just a body mist. Uh, in no way is it deodorizing. Um, it is just a body spray to smell like romantic rose. I'm so glad it was buy one get one free because now I got two of them. It actually doesn't smell that bad. Thank goodness. That's something. And who doesn't love a good spritz? Ready? Oh, it smells like fucking toilet. <laughs> Today I think I'm going to be going shopping for a little bit. Uh, apparently Korea has amazing face products. Uh, and now that I'm on the hunt for actual deodorant, I've got more shopping ahead of me. So I'm going to figure out what it's all about. All right, conveniently, this hotel is on and under or over a shopping complex. So yeah, okay. Uh, it's not even 8 o'clock and I've been up for 5 hours now. Round two, I've got a coffee. I'm going into the, the mall, the Times Square shopping mall. There is a Times Square here. Um, the doors are gonna open and it's gonna get really embarrassing. So I've gotta hurry this up, but um, it's shopping term. Hopefully I can get some deodorant this time. I thought I could get into the shops directly from the hotel, but you can't. So I'm outside with a jacket. God damn it, I can't get it. I just want to get in there. Oh my god. My fucking camera won't focus. Why won't you focus? My hand is so cold. It's freezing. How do I get into the bloody shops? I need to... Okay, being in the sun does not make much of a difference. Good to know. Oh, shit. That was straight up just a fail. Um, that was bad. That was bad. So I um, thought that I could go to the shopping center because when you get in the ele um, elevator, the lift, it says go down to one ground. I was like, no. And then B1 is, uh, I've got coffee all over me. I can't wait to tell you that story. B1 is the shopping center. And I was like, press, press, press. It wasn't pressing. I was like, okay, that's a bit weird. And then I realized that outside you just have to walk 100 feet, 100 feet to get the shopping center. Because I thought I didn't have to go outside, I didn't bring my jacket. <clears throat> what a freaking stupid thing that was. And 100 feet when it's so ice blast cold that you immediately get numb and it's like knives stabbing you. And to everyone else who goes, this is an everyday thing for me. Oh, this is just Chicago winter. Okay, I'm a Queenslander. I grew up where winter meant a light jacket and you still wore flip-flops, thongs as I call them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm being really snarky and sassy right now. So I remember my first Sydney winter, I was in, I ended up having like the flu for five weeks because I didn't know how to be um, warm when it was so cold. Now I spent the last five years living in LA where I'm seeing all my friends right in the middle of winter sunbake because uh, it's 29 degrees Celsius and that's our winter, okay? So this freezing thing, it, it, it's, it's, it's new for me and I'm not coping um, at all, as you can see. So I've got coffee down my jacket right here. How do you get coffee there, you ask? Great question. I'm glad I bought a coffee, right? That was smart trying to keep warm so I was holding that but it was so how do I do this properly it was yeah it was so cold no don't you go anywhere no camera stop being drunk it's cheeky 
I'll have to crash. It was so cold that I was doing this and walking briskly. So it was splashing up into me. So second recon mission, second exiting of the hotel to get out there, uh, fail. I would say it was a solid four out of 10. Some may call that a two out of five. Uh, not good. Could even be a three out of 10. That was just really bad. As I'm speaking, uh, the snot is gathering at my nostril and about to make departure down my face. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna get my jacket. Round three, explore soul. It can't get any worse. Famous last words. It's going down. All right, third attempt at shopping and going out and about. Classic. I'm learning so much uh, this time around. I'm learning uh, don't go to the bathroom wearing gloves. It's too tricky with buttons, etc. And the second thing is never mess with a Sicilian when death is on the line. Yeah. This whole time I've been looking for the wrong thing. What's up? That's what I need. Yes. What's up? It's not open though. When does everything open? So I found a store. It's absolutely cute. It's amazing. I've spent about 45 minutes in here choosing a bunch of things. I can't read any of the language, so that's a lot of fun. I found lip balms. I found deodorant, two types as well. Hairspray, everything that I needed. And now my card's not going through. And she's this poor little puppet's tried three times to put the, the, the thing through and it's not working. She's having a freak out. So who knows how this is going to go. What an adventure. Still better than the last trip, uh, but still not smooth. Which is fun. So far, Sol is just not liking me for some reason. That's a bit tough. Oh, that's meat. I smell meat. That is raw, <coughs> raw meat. I don't know where I'm going, I'm getting lost. All right, so hair and makeup is done uh, for the red carpet. Wearing this little pink number because hopefully I can stay a little bit warm. <laughs> um, little for Black Panther. Red carpet, black carpet technically. Um, it's a one woman team on the carpet here. So I got a spot and I'm gonna bring this camera uh, and I'm going to vlog, obviously, some of the carpet stuff, but I'm also going to be trying to interview the cast. So I've got like my dodgy little zoom mic that I'm going to be using and a tripod and this camera. And I'm going to be setting up the shot and asking the questions and hopefully getting it all done. I have done it before for Battle of Five Armies, the final Hobbit movie in London. I'm at it again. One woman team. And then tomorrow's the junket, which means one-on-one -on -one interviews with them all. So let's see how it goes. Good morning. Haha. <laughs> Um, jet lag still rampant. Instead of waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning though, I woke up at 4.40. So, well, look out, we got a badass over here. Except I went to bed, um, a little bit later. So, uh, today is junket day. And this means that we're going to go to another hotel and we're doing the sit-down one-on-ones with the talent of Black Panther. This is where, this is my favourite part, because they have to talk to me. Uh, as in, when the red carpet happens, Michael G. Bo uh, Michael G. Borden. Michael B. Jordan walked right past me. He looked at me. No, he looked at me. And I was like, Michael, just one question for Geek Bomb. And he was just like, mm. But he's actually really lovely. So I think it's like those moments where it gets a little bit, that's a lot of fluffy hair there. It gets a little bit hectic on the carpet there and they don't really know what to do. So they're waiting for the publicist to tell them where to go and what to do. It just didn't happen. Um, got uh, Wakanda forever happening with my outfit today. Might put a brighter lip on, who knows? but I have a choice to vlog right now or to get free breakfast, so. This is the junket room. There is a bed in the media center. So I'm using it. But this is a mess at the moment, but there's my black, there's my gravity. How cool is gravity? There's a room full of journalists from around Asia, which is cool. And then there's this blonde girl. The bathroom in this hotel is so great. You know the cutest thing I've seen? This is the hand towel to wipe your hands. It's tiny. It's so cute. I can't cope. Work's all done. We're leaving tonight for the airport. So trying to make the most of it. 
I think it's about negative six or negative seven degrees Celsius. Uh, still a little bit nippy. They've got some uh, Winter Olympics stands and it looks like to be marketplace setting up in front of me. How are my chins? I have eaten so much on this trip. I've just been like making my way through soil via my stomach. Ain't even mad about it. But I have got another chin. So at Geek Bomb we do a little segment called Power or Powered. What are you playing, watching, reading and doing? What you reading, mate? Excuse me? I think he's still reading. I got pals. Hi. They're ace. And there's a palace. Pal ace. Pal ace. Loves a pun. I 